Well, it's time to check in now with our new resident doctor, Dr Joe Kosterich. Dr Joe, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Morning Libby, great to be here. Now today we're looking at something very topical for this time of year, cold and flus. Now obviously some people may say I'm suffering from, I've been hit by a flu and they're really suffering from the common cold. Can you explain to us the difference? Yeah, the term flu has become quite generic. People just get a little bit unwell and say, I've got the flu. But you're right, they are quite distinct illnesses. A flu-type illness will be usually a high temperature, maybe 39 or more, really aches and pains, like you've been hit by the proverbial truck, no energy, generally no appetite, and often a, a headache. You don't get so much the cough, runny nose, sore throat. Whereas with a cold, it's the, almost the exact opposite. Sore throat, maybe a bit of a runny or congested nose. What used to be called a head cold. You don't hear that term so much anymore. But you don't usually get a high temperature and you don't get the aches and pains. You do sometimes get hybrids. There's a little bit of both. But the, the, the basic cold and basic flu type illnesses are quite distinct and separate. So, Dr Joe, what's the best way to boost our immune system and stay healthy at this time of year? Look, that's the key. Um, in winter time, there are viruses around. We're always exposed to them. If we can be looking after our immune system with you know, some basic stuff, then it makes it less likely, doesn't guarantee, but makes it less likely we'll get sick. Things like you know, eating fruits and vegetables, getting enough rest, drinking plenty of water, trying to do a bit of regular exercise. And the really important one that doesn't get a lot of airplay is managing your stress. There's a lot of work that shows that if we're under stress, our immunity is affected and we're more likely to get sick. Now when we are sick, when we do have a cold or a flu, what are some of the biggest mistakes we make? I guess rushing back to work is one of them. Look, going back before you're ready, it's a little bit like a sports player. You know, a footy player, if their knee's not ready or their shoulder's not right, they're not going to go out on the field. We tend to think if we're sick, we just have to rush back to work because we have to get things done. But if you go, do go back and you're not ready, the likelihood is you're going to be worse for, for longer. And you just don't have the energy. Our immunity needs some energy. If we're using it up doing other things, there's just less less for our immune system to do what it's trying to do for us. Now, Dr Joe, let's take a look at some of the questions our viewers have written in now. Hayley Haylock wants to know if motor neuron disease is hereditary. Look, there's no known cause for motor neuron disease, which is a, a terrible disease which affects the, the muscles and people get gradually weakened and paralysed. It's thought that something up to about 10% there may be a genetic or hereditary factor, but most cases are what's called sporadic, which means we don't really know. And from the email, particularly at this time of year, uh, we tend to drink, uh, I guess, more hot drinks, whether it's coffees or teas. How many coffees is OK in one day? Mm. Look, that's the proverbial $64 question, and it's different for different people. Probably more than about three or four cups a day for most people is going to be a little bit more than what the body should be having in terms of the amount of caffeine. People have different levels of tolerance, but probably beyond about four, you may start to notice a withdrawal type effect if you suddenly stopped getting coffee uh, stop drinking coffee and people may get headaches or a little bit jittery so three or four per day is not a problem for the vast majority of people some will tolerate more you've got to find what works for you well my tally is one already so I've still still got a few up my sleeve absolutely <laughs> Libby thank you very much for joining us this morning Dr Joe we will see you again next week and if you'd like to ask Dr Joe a question go to our Facebook page or email Dr Joe